Hi, in this short video I want to show you how to get lake sediment cores from a pond like this with a very inexpensive PVC sediment coring device. This coring device is built around the T12 polycarbonate light protector. You can get it at any hardware store. This is designed to protect fluorescent lights um, in a working environment so that glass doesn't shatter. In this case, it will be our core liner, and I've cut this in half. It's approximately two feet long. First thing I'll do is I will insert one end of the core liner into my cutting bit. Then I'll screw the cutting bit onto the end of the core barrel. Next, I can take the handle and screw that onto the end of the core barrel. And I'll be ready to insert this into some sediment and retrieve a sediment core. Notice I have an air hole on top that will create a vacuum when I cover it with my thumb as I pull the sediment out of the mud at the bottom of the lake. If the water is a bit deeper, I may use this extension handle, which I can thread directly onto the end of the core barrel, like this. And you'll notice on this I have a cloth tape measure attached to the side. This will allow me to measure the water depth and figure out how much the percentage of core retrieval I'm getting with each attempt at coring. Once I have the core barrel threaded onto the extension handle, I'll put the handle on the other end of the extender, like this. Once that's threaded on tightly, I'm ready to take this over to the lake and retrieve some cores. Now the coring device is assembled, we're ready to start trying to get a sediment core. I'm going to place this down into the water, and as soon as I feel the tube hit the top of the sediment, I'm going to make note of the depth of the water on the tape measure. As I push the core in, tube into the sediment, I lean in, get it as deep as I possibly can. Once I've pushed the coring device into the sediment as far as I can, I make note of the water depth on the tape measure on the side of the coring tube. Now I'm going to put my thumb over the air hole to create a vacuum as I pull the coring tool out of the sediment. Now that I've retrieved the sediment from the bottom of the lake, I'm going to unscrew the cutting bit. And remove the core liner from the core barrel. And here we go. It's not a big core, but you can see this is the sediment and this is the lake water that was on top of that. So I did retrieve a small sediment core from this lake. Once I've retrieved the sediment in the core sample, I unscrew the coring barrel from the core cutter bit and remove this, and there we have a sediment sample. Next step will be to cap this, so I have these inch and a quarter end caps. I'll place one on the top end, then very carefully extract my sediment from the bit and here we have a sediment core where you can see a change in color and a change in sediment type as we go up the column.